not sure that you can see that very well. You might see his hand down there. Anyway, there's that piece of metal that goes from the chassis frame or the chassis frame part of the uh, uh, the RV. I guess it's a heat shield, but it's impossible to get to the bolts on the exhaust manifold. So it's been, you know, in and out. They put some bolts on the inside, put some bolts on the outside. Uh, you know, this is kind of tough when you got three foot arms and it's just three and a half feet away. So, I mean, I don't know how long his arms are, but that was just a reference. They're working on the street out there putting in a gas line, so we're going to hear some stuff today. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, we got that plate off, so uh, it looks like we're going to get that exhaust manifold on this side off. I think he's probably thinking we just pull the heads at the same time. He pulled the plugs out, I looked at them a little bit. They looked like they were pretty good, so. But they're not that old either. Okay, we're gonna we're draining the radiator and the and the block now. So uh, the water is pretty clean, no rust. A little bit of antifreeze in there, but uh, I was kind of waiting for it to get colder so I could put some in there. That's okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the oil pan or not. Yeah, I, I think you can. The question was brought up in comments about the, the video yesterday, and I can't... I'm sorry, I think it was Terry, and some numbers, was saying that uh, just pull the pan and check journals and that name bearings and things like that if you could get to the pan. So I just wanted to show that, just how easy it is to get to that. <laughs> There's nothing in its way. You take the bolts out and it'll fall right down. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it looks pretty oily under there. And look at that, the, uh, the kingpins, those are all brand new, oil pumps all brand new, water pumps new, but I wanted to show those kingpins because I've had it at the uh, truck frame shop for alignment, and a lot of the younger guys said, what is that, what, well, I've never seen that before, so, <laughs> and that, now they have ball joints and coil springs. We're pulling push rods on the right hand side, so uh, he's made kind of like a little template uh, with uh, tags so that they'll go back in the same hole, we get them numbered, and they go back in the same hole and we put it back together. That's the way you do it. Same way with the uh, hydraulic lifters. If we were going to go that deep, we'd be tagging those as well. All right, there's the first one. 
There's still a little water in the head. We didn't get it all the way drained out, but uh, some of the water got into the cylinders, but you know, dry that all up good. Was it blown there between the first and the second? Huh? Head gasket. What, was it blown between the first and the second? appear to be much of a ring at the top. It's almost dropped the camera. Pretty good. A little crud built up on it, didn't it? A lot. They're carboned. Yeah. Pretty bad. Now, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Um, the second head, the right hand head, it's a little bit, you know, better shape than the, uh, the left side. Got a lot of water in the cylinders on this side, so we have to wait till we get that out, and then I'll turn the camera back on and check out the cylinders. Just not enough money. You know, the way that it should have been gone was, you know, just buy another long block or even a short block, or you know, do a complete rebuild on it, full pistons and. all that stuff. The good thing is that I don't it doesn't get driven very much. You know, in the summertime we will go up north and set it might go thirty seven miles once or twice a month.
you guys or gals that know about those things, what do those uh, valves look like to you? Well, we could always bore and stroke. Extremely <laughs> dry. Huh? The water jackets are bothering me on that side. They're extremely dry on the top. They're not wet like this side is. Yeah. See? These are wet. Yeah. Look how dry them are. There ain't no water been going through them at all. See? Yeah. There's one in front that, yeah, there's water, okay? Mm -hmm. On all these, there's water that's been going through, not on that side, and that's extremely, that, that's a bad indicator right there. Yeah. That's not good at all. They just look like rust. Yeah. Flashlight in the first cylinder on. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of blurry, you can't really see it. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's not looking good. <coughs> 